Hello everyone, welcome to Motion Spark. Today I'm going to show you how to create a clean and professional frosted glass effect in After Effects. This technique is widely used in UI animations, transitions, and modern design videos. Let's get started. First, add your background image or video. Since the frosted glass effect works by blurring the background, using a moving background will make the effect look even better. Create a new shape layer and draw a rectangle. This will be the area where we apply the frosted glass look. You can round the corners a bit to give it a modern appearance. Now let's animate our shape layer. First, add a keyframe to both the scale and roundness properties. Then move 30 frames forward and add another set of keyframes. Now go back to the first keyframes. Increase the roundness value until the shape becomes fully circular. Also, disable the chain icon next to the scale property so we can control the X and Y values independently. This will allow our shape layer to start as a perfect circle. Now let's open the transform settings. Add a keyframe to the scale property. Then move to the point where we created the final keyframe earlier and add another scale keyframe. Now go back to the first keyframe and set the scale value to zero. This will make our panel grow smoothly from nothing. Select all the keyframes and apply Easy Ease. To fine tune the motion, open the graph editor. Increase the speed at the beginning and make the ending slower and smoother. This will give the animation a clean and modern look. Now move 20 frames forward on the timeline and drag the keyframes we created at the beginning to this position. Select all the keyframes again and apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve. This makes the shape layer grow first and then expand outward and return to its original form. This creates a more dynamic and modern animation transition. Now, to avoid any confusion, let's give our layer a proper name. Now that our layer is ready, let's duplicate it to create a copy. For now, turn off the visibility of the bottom layer. Right-click on the top layer and go to Layer Styles, then add Bevel and Emboss. This effect will give the frosted glass a subtle sense of depth and light reflection. Now let's open the Blending options and set the Fill Opacity to 0. Next, open the Bevel and Emboss settings. Change the Shadow Mode to Normal and set the Size value to 3. These adjustments create a cleaner and more defined light and shadow edge, giving the frosted glass a more realistic look. Now let's go back to the Layer Style section and apply the Drop Shadow effect to the layer. Open the Drop Shadow settings. Set the opacity to 50 and adjust the distance to 9. This subtle shadow helps separate the glass panel from the background, giving it a cleaner and more modern look. Now, to create the frosted effect, add an adjustment layer to the scene and place it between the two panel layers. Then, mask this adjustment layer inside the bottom panel layer so the effect applies only within the panel area. This ensures the frosted glass effect appears exactly where it should. Now add the tint effect to the adjustment layer. In the effect settings, change the map black to color to white. Then lower the amount to tint value to 10. This gives the frosted glass a lighter and softer tone, making the effect look more natural. Now add the compound blur effect to blur the background. To create the frosted glass effect, we need a texture. Import the texture we downloaded earlier and turn off its visibility. Go back to the compound blur effect and select the texture in the blur layer section. As you can see, this creates a realistic frosted glass effect on the panel. Now, to make the frosted glass effect look more realistic, increase the maximum blur value. You can adjust this value visually to your preference. Next, enable the invert blur option. This creates a smoother and more natural frosted glass appearance on the panel. Now, to enrich the scene, let's add rain droplets to the frosted glass. Place the rain layer above the main 2 layer in the timeline. Then set main 2 as a track mat for the rain layer. This way, the rain effect will naturally flow over the frosted glass, creating a more realistic look. Great! 
As an extra touch, let's add the MP3 player animation we prepared earlier on top of the frosted glass layer and adjust its timing to fit the scene. Then press S on the keyboard to open the scale property and reduce its size. This makes the scene richer and more detailed, giving the animation a more aesthetic look. Of course, you can add different elements or customize the scene however you like. Now let's add a blur to the background. Select the background video and apply the fast box blur effect. Add a keyframe to the blur radius, then move 30 frames forward and set the blur radius value to 5. This will blur the background naturally when the frosted glass appears. Press U on the keyboard to reveal all keyframes on the layer. Select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor and adjust the speed curve. This makes the background blur animation smooth and well controlled. Additionally, I will apply the frosted glass effect to the sides of our scene. For this, I will create a new shape layer and apply the scale and roundness animations just like we did before. Since we already covered these steps in detail earlier, I will speed up this part slightly so the video doesn't become unnecessarily long. We're essentially repeating the same steps but showing them more quickly. The key here is to repeat the frosted glass animation to enrich the sides of the scene. The type of animation you choose is entirely up to your creativity. You can add different movements, extra light effects, or change the timing. For this tutorial, I prepared it this way to keep it educational and easy to follow. The goal is to teach the basic techniques so you can experiment with your own variations in your projects. Now, to avoid all the layers appearing at the same time, I'm staggering them by seven frames. This way, the frosted glass layers will appear at different times, making the animation more dynamic. Next, I duplicate all the layers and move the top one to the left side of the scene, also moving it seven frames forward. This creates a sequence where the frosted glass effect appears in the center, right, and left one after another. Finally, I adjust the position of the rain droplets. To make the motion look more realistic, I select all the layers and enable Motion Blur. This gives the animation a smoother and more natural appearance. And that's it. Our animation is complete. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. Your feedback inspires me to create even better tutorials. Remember, every idea and comment helps you learn more and strengthens our creative community. By subscribing, you'll be among the first to discover new After Effects techniques and animation tips. Stay creative, have fun, and see you in the next tutorial.